Hey everyone, so here's a nearly finished draft of secret communication and I wanted to share with you what I'm doing today to it. What I'm doing today is to add some nuanced effects to some of the tracks. First of all, here's how it sounds as it is. It's kind of fast. One, two, three, four, one, two, here's the tempo. The kick just came in, then So I said I'm gonna add some nuanced effects, right? So what effects exactly do I have here? Okay, I have seven of them. I have three reverbs and four delays. And for the delay, I have delay delay 2T, and 2T is a short spring for half triplets. So half note divides four beats into two. Am I right? I am right. Okay, now, half triplets divides four beats into three. I think I'm correct. Yeah. So it's going to sound like a ta 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 like this this very spacious kind of delay and uh, i wanted to apply this delay to this part called table the name comes from the type of the synthesizer that i used to play this part it's called table synthesizer let me locate that part yeah this this part what i was thinking was What I was thinking was to apply that long duration delay at the end of the active segment of this instrument. So now it's nearing the end, right? At this point, it's gonna just rest. It's gonna rest here, right? So I wanted to kind of engage this long duration delay right before it starts resting. You understand if you hear the band. See over here, it enters this very dark, inactive section. So I wanted to have something that lingers on. And I already have something like that, if you could hear that. Let me, let me play that particular part again. Yeah, one of those synthesizers is already doing what I was explaining. This one, see the delay that lingers on? So I want to kind of do something similar over here, but I want to do it in such a way that I'm automating the delay amount going towards that point. Check me out, adding the delay using the touch mode again. Yeah, so I just uh, performed this uh, automation and Logic recorded it for me. And uh, like before, I'm gonna kind of beautify the curve a little bit. All right, so here's how it sounds yeah so because of this automation now this long duration delay kicks in around here and and because of that you have something to kind of listen for even after the band kind of enters this dark age so to speak now my work right now is to modify the shape of the curve so I don't have too much going when the band is still busy. I keep saying the band, but I hope you understand what I did, the whole arrangement. So the band is still busy right until the end of bar 72. If I solo this, I can hear that this particular two uh, transients, this is engaging a little too much delay than I think is ideal. And that's because of this shape of the curve. So I can just modify the curve like this, you know? Yeah, because I just dragged this point from here to there, now these two transients aren't engaging the delays as much. As a result, the music probably won't sound that chaotic there. Yeah, now I can hear that only these four transients are engaging the delays in significant ways. Yeah, right. what if, what if? I hope you can hear what I'm what I'm trying to illustrate here. All right, I think I'm satisfied with the curve. So what I do is like before, 
I'm gonna enter this anchor point, so to speak. I don't know what to call this technique. I have made it so that this entire curve has a very easy to identify starting point, right? So because I added this point right at the beginning of bar 71, I can just fit that much and kind of go to a similar location. I am right at the beginning of bar 128 and I can paste that. And bar 128 is similar to bar 71, but let me let me let me double check the effect here. Now maybe Yeah, so see, unlike before, the band doesn't become quiet over here. So maybe this is not a good thing to do. I, I guess I'll just cancel it. No delay here. But instead, I can look for some other places that, that I can apply this. Not here, right? Not here. Band is not quieting down at all. But if I enter the F section, I may find something similar. Yeah, so after the F section, I'm entering uh, EN section. EN stands for ending, by the way. And my habit is the ending doesn't have any music except the drums. So that means there's relatively a lot of space for music to happen. What am I saying? Yeah. So there's relatively a lot of space left is, is what I'm saying. So I'm going to copy paste it here, copy paste the curve over here so I can replicate the effect that we kind of observed before. Yeah, it works great here, doesn't it? All the music kind of dies down, dies suddenly at this point. And right before that, I'm engaging that delay. And so, let me play it again. You can hear this delay, right? I like that very much. Okay, so I think I'm done with this. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, <laughs> <laughs> I hate saying this, but I, I guess I will. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Bye.